Hi everybody! So today I'm doing a like collective Bath and Body Works haul. There's been some stuff that I've ordered and bought in the store and like exchanged maybe throughout like the last like two weeks or something. Like I actually kind of forgot about it and like I hid it under my bed telling myself oh I gotta do a haul one day you know and I did my story time video the other day and that was a process because that thing was like an hour and like 20 minutes and that took time to edit and all that crap. Um, again it was an hour and 20 minutes but I'm chopping that up into four parts which I hope everybody likes because that was very therapeutic <laughs> to get that whole mess of a story out. I haven't talked about all of it in so long. Um, I, my husband doesn't even know the whole story just because it was one of those things where it was like I can't even begin to tell you about this. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna get to this Bath and Body Works haul. So let's do... I have two boxes of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start out with these guys. I bought, uh, what was it, last week I had my 10 off 30 coupon. I used it twice before it expired and I showed you the haul from the first time I went. This is the haul from the second time that I went, um, including some stuff that I just bought the other day that I just wanted to um, throw in there as well because I was kind of excited about some new stuff that they got in and I was like I have to go buy it. Okay so the uh, 10 off 30 I got me two candles. I already have both of these. I wanted backups because I'm sure I'm going to like them. Uh, Marshmallow Fireside and Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. I just I don't know what it is. They're seasonal so I feel like if I don't have backups like and I burn them I'm gonna be like really regretting the fact that I burned them which is really ridiculous because I bought them to burn them and to smell them and I don't know this just like I am such a hoarder I'm such a hoarder like with the entire <laughs> if you could see like my candle stash right now it's not good <laughs> like it's not good um yeah so anywho marshmallow fireside vanilla pumpkin marshmallow I'm very into the whole like pumpkin-y, not pumpkin-y, not so much pumpkin stuff right now, like more of the vanilla marshmallow fall going into like winter smells. This smells so good. It's definitely vanilla-y, brown sugary, just a hint of cinnamon, the right kind of cinnamon, not the like gross dollar store cinnamon that I hate. And Marshmallow Fireside has marshmallow, of course it has like a woodsy kind of like burnt wood smell like you're out in the forest and you're doing like what roasty marshmallows <laughs> and then like there's a guy sitting there maybe he's roasting marshmallows with you too and he's wearing really nice cologne and that's what this smells like <laughs> roasty marshmallows and that guy shoved together perfect um i also got me <laughs> five more pocket bags but these i got different ones um, than the ones I already have, I believe. Um, so first up, I got me the, what is that, Autumn Owl Cranberry Apple. I did not get this one. I don't believe I got this one. Well, whatever. I have it now. Um, gorgeous coloring on these. I, I love this, like, kind of pinky red color. It's pretty. It smells really good. <sighs> but there's like a shit ton of cinnamon in it. Why do they keep doing that? And it's the crappy cinnamon, whatever. Oh, I got, okay, I'll show you later. I got a uh, Plum Cider Warmth, which I tried the body spray. I love the body spray. I actually got that in my other package, so I'll be showing you that shortly. I already have this one, but I had to get another one. The cozy vanilla cream it smells awesome. Ugh, kind of smells like marshmallow pumpkin latte. Couldn't think of the name for a second. It smells freaking amazing. 
Um, Dazzling Diamond, which I've never had before, because I was like, what's so special about it? It smells good. It smells clean, and it smells crisp, and I like it. And there's glitter in it, so that is not a bad thing. And then Perfect Autumn Day. <sighs> I like that. But you know what? It kind of smells like, without putting it on my hands, just sniffing it, it kind of smells like either Jolly Ranchers or like some kind of like gummy candy and like apple, which is good. I'm all down with that. Okay, so moving on. Um, the other day I stopped in at a different Bath and Body Works in a different town just because I was going somewhere and I was like, hey, I'm gonna run in there. I had seen on the website that they had Thousand Wishes wall, Wallflower Refills and I was like, oh my god, I have to get in on that. I have, I bought three of them. One of them is already in my bathroom in the uh, plug-in. Dude, I am telling you. Granted, I have it in my like small bathroom, but every time I walk in my bathroom, walk out of my bathroom, anytime I'm in my bathroom for like an extended time period, showering, whatever, I smell that smell of Thousand Wishes and it smells amazing. It smells like candy and champagne and just everything good and everything kind of girly and I'm kind of obsessed with it and it's so amazing. I mean like the Thousand Wishes body spray, like I love it. I have all the lotions, the, the body washes, everything. So of course it smells amazing. I asked the girl at the store when the hell are they coming out with a candle of it. She said she wasn't sure. But they did have the little, like, tester candle in front of the wallflowers for this one. And I smelled it, and it smells fucking amazing. It's so strong smelling. So I'm hoping, I mean, they already have it for, like, you know, um, a try-me kind of, like, baby candle for this. So obviously they're in, like, the midst of making the candles or whatever. Huh. Okay, whatever. Never mind, that, it looked kind of... No, never mind, they just look like that. Um, it looked kind of low or something, and I was like, no, it's leaking. It's not leaking, I would have smelled it. Um, but this thing smells fucking amazing. It says, um, a dazzling blend of pink Prosecco, crystal peony, and gilded amber. Smells amazing, like 10 out of 10. I'm going to go and buy more, definitely, just so that I have them like the next time they're on sale online for like three dollars I am stocking up because it smells so good it's gonna be so good in the winter time when it gets all cold you'll be freezing you'll walk into the apartment and you just get hit with this gorgeous smell I'm looking forward to that very much um okay the other ones that I got were uh, okay, this one is brand new as well, I believe. I don't know if it's a repeat. I have no idea. It's vanilla bean. Um, the tester candle smelled amazing, and I'm in love with some vanilla. I don't know what my deal is. Um, it says, vanilla takes on a new sophistication with layers of sparkling sugar and cream. It smelled like that. It smelled very, you know, like, I can't, uh, marshmallow, vanilla bean marshmallow. Like, that's what it smelled like. So I'm on board. Um, and then I got a flannel, which smells really good. I mean, I have the candle of it right here. Yes. I mean, if I'm going to choose a masculine scent for my house, this is probably going to be it. Um, I haven't burnt my ma mahogany teakwood candle yet. I have one that I got from uh, the semi-annual sale a couple months ago. That was from last winter. But I'm kind of waiting to burn that until maybe it's not so hot here because it's still pretty hot. Um, but I do like the coloring of it. It's very pretty. The little label's adorable. It smells really good. It smells very masculine but not overpowering and not sour, which is what I like. Um, okay, so it says wrap a room in a warm, in a warm blend of bergamot, mahogany, and musk. Mmm. I got... Radiant Red Maple, which I got the candle the other day, and I think it smells amazing. A couple of people are like, hmm, it smells like puke after you burn it. I can't say for sure because I haven't burnt mine yet. I probably need to get on that um, because if I like it, then I can probably buy some more 
whenever they're doing the two for 24 and I think they've been doing it the last day or two and I think today's the last day so I don't know if I'm gonna burn it later who knows oh can I just say the candle I'm burning right now and I'm kind of upset about it it's I did it I, it was from my Target haul that I did like a couple weeks ago maybe a week or two ago the Chesapeake Bay candle in snuggly sweater Okay, it is literally two and a half feet away from like where I'm laying on my bed normally. I'm on the floor right now, but I lay on my bed and I hang out and I watch TV. And I can't smell this for shit. Which is real disappointing because on cold sniff, this thing smells like amazing. It smells like gummy bears and it smells like cologne and kind of musk and just wonderful. Like all the good things for winter. But... I can't smell it unless my face is literally hovering over the flame like six inches away. Very sad. Um, kind of, it, and it's a huge candle so now I'm just kind of burning it to get rid of it because it smells like nothing so like why keep it? <laughs> Disappointed. Um, but anyway, Radiant Red Maple. And it says, the scent of maple trees and a mix of autumn woods, Macintosh apples, and toasted marshmallows. That's exactly what I got from the candle. It smelled like woods. It smelled like apples. It smelled like marshmallow. It smelled like um, marshmallow fireside with some apples thrown in. And that's not bad. Like, marshmallow fireside, maybe like apple bobbing. Not gonna hate. Smells good. Okay, so moving on, I ordered some stuff from... Um, I ordered two of the heirloom pumpkin. Okay, this was the weird thing. So, I put my order through, and then a couple minutes later, I get an email from Bath & Body Works saying that my order was suspended, and it would not be processed. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it because maybe that's a sign that I don't need to spend this money after all, and that's okay. Well, then like four hours later, I get another email from Bath & Body Works that says they've received my order. I was like, okay. And then in the morning, I got another email that said my order's been shipped. And I was like, alright. Like, it was very quickly. And I was like, I thought I had to like contact you to get my order back like online or whatever. So you know that like it was me and like not somebody that like hacked my shit. Um, so I, I don't know, whatever, I'm glad I got my stuff because I was a little bummed, but at the same time I was like, eh, whatever, I don't need more Bath & Body Works stuff, but I do, so uh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> so I got me two heirloom pumpkin candles, which now I kind of feel foolish because apparently the, um, where is it? <sighs> The, the sister candle to the spooky vanilla, the orange one, pumpkin carving, um, is apparently the like same thing as this. And sure enough, I looked it up on the website to see what the smells are, and they're the exact same smells, just placed differently like in the sentence of their description. Like, I think the one on the website, it says, like this one says, um, fresh pumpkin, creamy nutmeg and rich brown sugar. I think the one on the website for pumpkin carving said brown sugar, nutmeg, and spicy pumpkin or something. And I was like, that's the same damn thing. All right. But I mean, I was happy, very happy to get my heirloom pumpkin because I got the little mini candles at SAS for like a dollar something. And I was very happy with those, but I wish I had gotten more. Give me a minute. I'm processing. Okay. Yeah, I guess it smells about the same. I don't know. I'll have to burn it. Maybe it's because it's in a different quantity. It smells a little different. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, I mean, you know, cute label. I feel like they definitely could have put, like, a cuter lid on it. I mean, it is heirloom pumpkin. It has pumpkin in the name. They could have done the pumpkin lid. And honestly made the label look cuter. I get that it has to be orange, but like, you know, just saying. 
Okay, so... And then I got, they had a $6 sale on body spray, so I grabbed a couple of my favorites. Oh, I got the larger size of the Plum Cider Warmth because it smelled awesome in the store. And I kind of forgot that I ordered it because I bought the little baby, like, child size one a couple, like, two, no, like, last week. And, whoops. <laughs> but I guess now I have a backup. I have the big one and I have the little one. I will go through those because they smell really good. Um, and then I got two more of, ah, two more of my favorites. The Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, which smells like heaven. And Dark Kiss, which is my, like, all-time old favorite. Um, I think I've been probably wearing some form of Dark Kiss since, like, 2000... Seven, two thousand eight, two thousand ten. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Rem I don't know for sure. I don't remember when it came out. So I don't know. Like I, unfortunately, wasn't into it when they had the candles and the wallflowers and all that stuff of it. So I couldn't get my hands on any of that. I know you can go on eBay and buy all that stuff, but I don't want to f with that. I really don't. That just seems like an awful lot of effort, and I just really don't want to deal with that. <coughs> I am lazy, and unless it is somewhere where I can buy it off of a secured website that I trust, and not just an individual who is charging, you know, two dollars for an item but twenty dollars for shipping, I don't want to do that. Um, so, oh, and then the last thing I got because uh, the coupon code I used, I think it was like twenty percent off, and you get like a free travel item. I'd always, I always rather do that because I feel like I get a better. Um, like, if that's the only coupon that is available to me, I, I would rather do the 20% off and a free um, travel size item, but it has to be, like, lotion or body wash, which is kind of like, come on, you can't, like, throw in a body spray. Um, but I got the uh, Plum Cider Warmth little body lotion because... Sorry, cell phone. Because, um, you know, it smelled good, and I figure I'll use it in the winter or whatever. Honestly, I have enough lotion, like, coming out of my ears, and I can't even, like... Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna... Oh, my God. Um, so, I'm gonna wrap this one up for now. Um, I, like I said before, I want to do some more, um, story times. I was actually, like, making a list last night of all the story time stories that I could possibly put out there and I have a lot because I've had an interesting life I don't know I didn't think that I had but apparently I'm always one of those people who's like how did I get in this situation oh god why did my friend put me in this situation oh Jesus why am I friends with this person you know like I'm that person and so I just happen to have a lot of random stories some of them more interesting than others, for sure. But, um, I mean, like, hopefully you find those kind of interesting, so. Um, anyway. I hope everybody liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, if you like more hauls and everything. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything. Um, I hope everybody has a good night, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye!